All right, in this lesson, we're gonna go over the adjusted trial balance. Now, I'm not gonna go too in depth with the adjusted trial balance because it's very much like the unadjusted trial balance and how we prepare it at the end of the day. In addition, at the end of this a section there will be an example where we kind of walk you through the adjusted trial balance so i don't want to spend too much time here uh, but want to give you kind of the overview of an adjusted trial balance so the basics here kind of helping you understand what we're trying to do so every day that we have these transactions we book them into the general ledger so we book them to the general ledger every single day and then after we do that, um, at the end of the period, we prepare what we call the unadjusted trial balance like we did in the last section's lessons. Then from there, we do adjusting entries. So this section is all about adjusting entries. So we do these adjusting entries, the four, the two deferrals, the two accruals, both revenues and expenses. That's what we do in this section. After we've done that, then we're going to prepare the adjusted trial balance. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna update the unadjusted trial balance with the adjusted journal entry. So we're gonna combine those, and obviously that's gonna make the account numbers change, and then we're gonna prepare this adjusted trial balance. This adjusted trial balance is basically all the accounts and all the amounts, including the adjustments that we just made in this section. Now from there, we'll prepare the financial statement. So we don't even prepare the financial statement until we do the adjustment. So that's how critical the adjusting entries are. So we'll prepare the financial statements after the adjusting trial balance is complete. Then we'll have something called closing entries. Those closing entries will then lead us into what we call the closing trial balance. That closing trial balance is basically what we would use uh, to start the new period or the new year. So we need to close out the accounts that uh, need to be closed in order to start up the new year. Now, our job here obviously is right up here. So doing the adjustments and then the adjusting trial balance. But I wanted to give you the full picture of what we're doing in the accounting cycle as we get to the end of the accounting period. Now, after a company has completed their adjusting entries, they complete an adjusted trial balance. The adjusting trial balance rolls forward the balances on the unadjusted trial balance, as well as all of the postings of the adjusted entries. Now, a trial balance, whether unadjusted, adjusted, or closing, is just a listing of all of the accounts and all of the amounts, that's it. Now, what I do should tell you here is that typically if it has a zero balance, it's no longer put on the adjusting entry because it has a zero balance, there's nothing to report there. So um, that's gonna be most important when we get to closing entry, but since this is a generalized uh, definition of a trial balance, if the account balance is a zero, then we don't put it on the trial balance, usually, okay? So let's take a look and I'm gonna walk you through an example here. So here we have the adjusting entry for supplies that we did in the last uh, couple of lessons. And then we've got some T accounts and we've got some beginning balances and we've got uh, the tr unadjusted trial balance. So if you notice here, the unadjusted trial balance, we've got supplies of 825 and we've got supplies expense of zero. So there's just nothing there, so zero. Now when we do the adjusting entry, we need to post them. So I've got the T accounts here, we're gonna post them individually. So notice that we debited supplies expense for 605, that's gonna go on the left-hand side. So we're gonna debit 605 supplies expense. That's gonna give us an ending balance of 605. Okay, bigger minus smaller, the smaller has a zero. There's nothing there, so 605 minus zero is 605. And then we need to deal with the supplies account. So the supplies accounts we credited, so that's gonna go on the right-hand side of the T account. So 605 is gonna go on the right-hand side, so that's where that is. This is where that is. Uh, so that goes 825 minus 605 gives us 220 as our ending balance. So how would this look like on a adjusted trial balance? Well, now that we have updated our balance amounts, we would go in and change those amounts on our trial balance. So I would change that uh, supplies expense from a zero to 605. And then I would change the supplies from 825 to 220, okay? That's all I would do at the end of the day. Now, 
When we do adjusting entries, these may or may not change. So in this case, they won't change because they offset themselves. Um, but there may be adjustments that we do that will actually change that impact. Usually it doesn't, but you never know, okay? So that's what we're doing with the adjust child balance. All we're doing is we're taking our adjustments, posting them to the T. Once we post them, then we get this new number. That new number then flows to the adjusting trial balance. So that's all we're doing here. Now, reminder, an adjust trial balance is not complete until all of the adjusting entries are posted to the respective accounts and the updated balance are transferred to the trial balance formats. So in this section, we did a lot of adjusting entries. I didn't spend time in posting them here to show you the adjustment, but that's what we would do. We would take all of the entries that we did in this section and then we would post them to their T's and then transfer their amounts to their adjusting trial balance. We do have another example at the very end that will actually show you how we do the whole thing. So instead of doing it here, that's kind of where we put it from for this section. So that is the adjusted trial balance. Hope you understood kind of what we're doing. All we're doing is we're rolling forward the unadjusted trial balance so that we have the adjusted trial balance. And that adjusted trial balance is what we use to prepare the financial statement. So hope you enjoyed this lesson. We'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, it is Patrick. Don't forget to press the like button and share this video with someone who could get a lot of use from watching this lesson, like maybe a classmate or maybe a friend or maybe just a parent just because you wanted to share this video because you're very excited about what you saw. Share it with someone. And if you want to help us grow and help us make sure that we put the very best in accounting topics out on YouTube, make sure you press the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time we post videos to this channel. Now, I do this with every one of my classes at the end of class. What did you learn from this lesson? Put that in the comment section below and I'll respond to you on what you got out of this video. So hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next lesson.